What's going on everyone, Square VWG here and we have a special box opening involving the le Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Now, this is the reprinted version of the original set which is absolutely awesome to see. You've also got Metal Raiders, Invasion of Chaos, etc. But I thought just go and get this because it's nostalgic and the thing about it is it was the first set we've ever got. Um, we then got structure decks and then metal raiders and all them came along so we started getting better and better cards but when this was released it was just normal monsters so i think what we're going to do is we're going to open it just as normal um we're going to need some sharp okay just went to get like a sharp knife just to cut the little middle bit open it up And there we are. So in this set, you had cards like the Dark Magician, the Red Eyes, Exodia was also a card. You also got Super S like Raigeki. That would be something I'd like to see. So a head of Exodia would be awesome. A Raigeki. Dark O would be nice too, but you know. We'll just see what we get. I'm going to open from the left side. Or right side, whichever you look at it. So let's start with pack number one, Legend of Blue Eyes. So this isn't, should not be guaranteed hollows. So we've got a Dark Energy Core, which is um, nice for fiends. Flame Manipulator, Itotama, Spirit, a super rare trap hole. Nice, but you can tell it's definitely printed because it may say Legend of Blue Eyes. And also EN. The old cards never had those. And then the rest of them are just normal monsters. So, Next up, we've got the second pack. So let's just see what we get here. We've got Power of Thingamabob, Sparks. Oh, Reaper of the Cards. So no hollow as always. As, like we said, in the old packs you weren't guaranteed hollows. be cool just to open all the old sets and just play with those cards it'd be you know like gold oh try horned so we're not getting a piece of exodia that's a shame but having a try horned isn't too bad it's not the best it's more like your if you can't get blue eyes you get that instead which is uh, Giant Soldier of Stone's a pretty nice defender. Oh, yeah. yeah, the highest attack could not get past the highest defense. And the highest attack in this, and that's 1550. You had, you had no 1800s. And oh, we've got Ultra Rare Gaia Defina Fierce Knight. And the rest of them is just that. So I'm going to take a guess that we're probably going to be opening, you know, there this time. But we'll see. Carabao Knight. I used to run that in uh, Madoshi. But that's that's newer sets. Got Aqua Mador. And some more normal monsters. Okay, let's have a look. See what else we get. So at the moment we're getting nothing. There you go. Skull Red Bird. I think I might have bypassed them. Not too sure. I'm not going to go and check. But this is it. This is what's your highest attacker. 1550. <laughs> Apart from defense. So you were gonna you built a deck around defenders. And Skull Red Bird being your biggest attacker. So I think if I was to. I'd probably build it around Skull Red Bird being as big as it could. Just to get past some things. And a oh, super rare polymerization. So that's pretty cool. I might put that in Fluffle. I do like the other artwork though. But having polymerization in super rare and the original printing is pretty cool. 
Go surfing, nice card. You can still make fun skull surfing type decks. Almost there at the last pack. I don't think you're guaranteed any more rares now. Yeah, back in the day, you also had effect monsters in like Metal Rage and all that, but the thing is, some of them had really deliberating effects. So, they'd have something good about them, but you'd have a FD cost to pay. Oh, Fusionist. Yeah, it was just... It was like Jurigar Guma. Level 4, and it was 2-2, two -two, but you had to flip a coin and yeah it was pretty bad but then there was cards out like Megamorph and Solemn Judgments so basically you wanted your life to be lower so Jumaguma just becomes big and it could kill the opponent as quick as it could do and uh, oh Super Dark Hole that's pretty um, insane some in some ways Dark Hole is a better card than Regeki like if um, if you were given a monster that basically stops you from doing something, you dark hole, you get rid of everything, and then you basically you just go from there. I've never heard of that one, mystical sheep. I've heard of mountain though. I always wanted a dragony. I wanted deck built around dragons. Yumi, before we add um, the Legendary Ocean. Yeah, I might have to have a look at... Um, if we were to build a deck, it will probably be built around Skull Redbird. So basically, you just go Skull Redbird. And that's it. Yeah, and that's another one. And then you've got to follow, up, follow Wind. So then it becomes an 1850. Tama, Warrior, and the rest of it is pretty much, yeah. I think that was one of the first cards I ever got. Wasn't good though, it was just, it was meh. And, oh, hello! We have a Dark Magician. So we actually had one last um, thing we could go with. I don't think we'll get anything else in here. I don't think. I'm not saying we won't, but we got Dark Magician, which is good. Um, having a Blue Eyes would have been nice, but it felt like um, it felt like a dog chewing its own tail. Um, Exodia's head would have been great too, but Dark Magician, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Okay, let's keep going. Got Reaper of the Cards, and the rest of it is pretty much your stuff there. We're almost there now. It's good to have a look at some old cards and just, um, you know, admire them for what they are. Remember, these were the starters, then the structure decks, and then you started getting Metal Raiders, and then everything else came after that. And, oh, a rare pot of greed. Um, draw two cards. Oh, that's what it does. I never knew, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, that meme's never going to die. Oh, um, so life point gains basically, so yeah, two more packs, I doubt we're going to get anything else now, 
We got a hollow. I'm gonna have to open it from the other side. Because that one's just been absolutely wrecked. I think I'll keep the box though as a collector's piece. Obviously, um, there's nothing in. Oh, super rare sword of revealing light. Nice. Pretty cool. And then last pack. Obviously, we're not going to end on anything now, so we're just going to basically just be like yoink. <laughs> to see what we get. And that's about it, really. That's all we've got. So that is all we've got. Just a pile of cards with some super rares. I'm going to go through them, actually. Right, so here we go. So we have our first foil, which is Sword of Feeling Light. A Dark Hole, a Polymerization, a Trap Hole, a Gaia, a Dark Magician, and a Trihorn Dragon. So, yeah, we didn't get the ones we wanted, but I'm not going to fuss. You know, we got um, Polymerization, Dark Hole, which are nice. So, yeah, not the worst, but not the greatest. But it was nice to actually pull out the Legend of Blue Eyes box, which is great. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care.